I've got my November American Influencer Beauty Box, so if you want to know what brand they're featuring this month, stay tuned. Hi and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. Chloe and Banda aren't with me this evening, but if you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for checking us out. We do all kinds of unboxings, unbaggings, get ready with me's, um, try-ons, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you're returning, thank you so much for being a part of our YouTube family. So this is the American Influencer Beauty Bundle. It is, I think, about $35 a month. I'll have all the details down below. They feature a different brand each month, although from time to time, maybe at the end of the year, I'm not really sure, but they do kind of a box that has a little bit of all of their previous boxes. I only recently started getting this, so this is like maybe my fourth or fifth box. All right, you open it up, and... There is your sneak peek. I see a little bit of fun in there. You know, I like the fun palettes. So this month it is Alamar Cosmetics, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right, so what did we get? We have a limp, lip plumping water. And there was one of two. I got the Agua Ardiente. And there was also a blue one in the aqua fresha so you receive one or the other these are hyaluronic acid infused lip plumpers um it says the aqua fresha will provide an icy cooling sensation while her spicy sister agua ardiente lip water will provide a red hot tingle so i got the red hot tingle let's see if that translates to Kind of smells like Play-Doh. Doesn't look like there's much color on there, but it is a nice shine. I do like that. All right, so excited for that. Next, we have the La Arena Sun Soaked High Shine Highlighter. And this is a liquid to powder formula that offers a glossy veil of shimmer. Oh, the lip plumper was valued at $20. This is valued at $20 as well. There is how it looks. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. There's a little mirror inside. And here is that. So let's take, I love that swirl. I hate to mess it up. Oh, gorgeous does come with a highlighting brush. So here is the highlighting brush. It's kind of a little bit stiff, which it should be to be a highlighting brush. So let's see how this looks together. See if you can kind of see it. Oh yeah, there's definitely a noticeable difference that I'm seeing at least in the little mirror. I don't know how well that's translating. On camera, I'm gonna put on highlighter like at 5.30 this morning, so probably hasn't lasted that long. <clears throat> Considering I wear a mask at work all day, so it probably is all rubbed off onto, onto that by this point. The brush is a $14 value. Then we have a set of three brushes. These are the Ojitos Brush Trio. Um, so you would either get volume one or volume two. So it looks like one of them was in green and then these are in red. Let's see what it says. Um, okay, it doesn't say what the difference is. It does look different though when you look at oops, these brushes right here. Maybe the one I'm showing you, there we go. They do look like different brushes. Like I see some kind of... Um, shorter ones. I have the longer ones. I've never tried their brushes, so excited to, to try something new. This is an $18 value. 
right, so there we go. These are softer than the face one. And then the last thing in here is their Spanglish Pressed Pigment Eyeshadow Palette. This is a $28 value. There are eight shades, four shimmers, and I guess four mattes. Yes, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. You know where I'm going, right? Going right for this purple one right here first. Purple next to it. We're going to go for these other two glitters here. Beautiful colors. And this kind of has a duochrome kind of effect there with the pink and purple. And this one here has some gold in there. And then we're going to do one matte. I'm looking at it because I don't know if you can tell, but this almost looks like a brush or something was dipped in it, although it could just be what's kind of all over here. Ooh, that is a pink. Matches my sweater. That would have been a perfect palette for today. Okay, so that is what I got in my AIA. Wait. Yes, AIA Beauty Bundle. And um, <clears throat> overall, I'm pretty impressed. This is a company I've not tried before. So I'm excited to try something new. I like everything in the box. I think it was a really good box. Nice, um makeup forward box so i like that which i think two boxes ago was it all skincare this box and the last box were more makeup forward so it is nice like they do do that um sometimes they'll do a hair one which is kind of what got me hooked was the um beach waver one so let me know your thoughts um what do you think about this i think it's a pretty good box but let me know what do you think all right, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you would, and hopefully I'll see you soon.